we are on another beautiful day in Florida and uh, any day is a beautiful day when you work on race cars and that's exactly what I'm doing today. Working on a Mazda RX-8 that myself and five others have gone in on for a champ car. Looking to do some endurance racing, autocross, track days, all kinds of good stuff next year with this car and uh, so far, especially with six of us splitting it up, it's an amazing value for what we're going to get out of this car. So today we're going to be working on uh, taking the engine out, maybe put a new engine in, and I'll also be documenting some of the things that we've already done to it as well. We're just waiting on old Mr. Deli Gaddy to get here and open the gate. Mr. Hey, be there at 11. graveyard back here. One of these lucky girls is coming back to life. You've done this before. Like a glove. Decadent interior. things for the oil. The 
oil cooler setup. Okay. And then we delete the OMP completely and just basically run premix like they did with the you know, RX7 days. Gotcha. So full race car then. Basically. Nice. So I wonder if he had this over torqued because now you're taking it off, these are starting to crown a little bit. What you end up doing is you put precision spacers in, they look a lot like washers. Okay, gotcha. Until you get the right crown. And somewhere there's a spec on what the crown is, but first one I put in needed the washers. I think the one I got in there needed the washers. Everything but the one from Mazda needs the washers and then you don't really know. Gotcha. He's got inside that PCD valves on them. <laughs> oh, well, they're obviously doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it fits down pounds. in whatever he did here, it fits down in here for the ones right. he's got. He's got the car ones, not the truck ones, but if there's a PCD valve right there, before right. the lightning comes around. Oh, let's we'll see if it'll fit there. If I can do like an LY2, LY2, LY2 truck motor. He says it's got an LS3 cam and the Corvette intake. That's awesome. I think this is which is which made the Mazda speed seats fit really cool, but the neon seats fit good too because no part is related to anything else. No, no. no. <laughs> this is the guy that will I'll stand and help me do shit. Oh, look at it, fender oh, covers. It's sexy. Steam line needs to round up That's here. That's not what I thought he Instead had when he said he had down a here. Same. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's been a long time since I've seen like a nice stuff. Fiberglass doors. It's <laughs> making it cheap. Shut it. 311 at the wheels. Monster Miata. I mean, it's already really cool. I've always liked 
like these cars a lot. Well, thank you, sir. But this is why I got the apartment glass doors now. Yeah. So that's why they're all. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. How much weight do you have knocked off of this? They start around 37, 3800. Okay. When I weighed it, I had baby seat, like 20, 30 pounds of shit in it, full tank of gas, and it was 3270. Damn, okay. So I, so I dropped about 500 pounds, and that was still with a steel door. Okay. One steel door. So nice. I put the other fiberglass door, took some more junk out. I'm working on a. Uh, so there's nothing under here right now. Oh, nice, okay. It's covers. So, yeah, so that's just the headlight cover, and you I need took. To do an intake thing? Yeah. Nice. So now it's just got one headlight, and I've been thinking about what to do. I was thinking I'll put like an LED light bar here and there, and getting rid of that headlight as well. That'd be cool. Because they're heavy. Yeah. This weighs, so it's like nine pounds per headlight difference. Gotcha. When I measured what I have here versus what I have there, it's like a nine, so I almost 20 pounds just in headlights. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's... My goal is to have it daily driven weight at sub 3,000. Dude, so if that's two nine nine nine, I'm okay. Yeah, for sure. But starting at thirty seven hundred, that's that's significant. Yeah. And how much power does it make? Right, right now, not much. It's it's. I got everything turned down. Okay, gotcha. So I mean, it's basically stock. I'll show you. But it's like just thrown together to drive right now. I got gotcha. you. How old is that mill you have? <laughs> um. Oh wow. 19 the CNC one yeah it's cool it's 1989 okay because that's this period for those types of computers yeah yeah that's to come over and look at it <laughs> yeah that's cool man it's just thrown this is one of my first 3d prints so that's I didn't cool. I didn't use the right material so it shrunk over time but I've made new ones since that work and the blade will spin and everything. What? Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Cool. Like, not this one. This is like my, this was my test run to see how that material worked uh -huh. in the engine bay. Heat. What's the material? That one is PETG. PETG, yeah. Yeah, so not so well. But I use this stuff called like Tough ABS now uh -huh. or ABS Plus and it actually holds it pretty well. And I have like a plastic uh, bearing in there so the turbine will spin. That's so cool. Okay.
love you. I'm just out of Florida cars. Out of curiosity. Yeah. Pretty clean. Your long shaft in there, Brandon. <laughs> It might not be long enough. Do you need more? I went for somebody to that'd be awesome. Right. I want to be able to sit down and just have this ball. I'm looking forward to that all day long. I could have found it. 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 Touching the subframe. Can you see it from your side? Because it came further forward last time. I see what you said. Did the engine rotate? Remember, it dropped. Yeah. The engine lowered. Now. Yeah. So the yeah. engine lowered while we had it up on yeah, the lift. Right, so now we have to get over it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Go come in a little bit. Down. That way, about it go in about six inches. Towards us. Okay. Yeah. In. That's good. Now up a little bit, an inch. Got an inch. No, 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 down, down, down. We're gonna snap the fucking chain and take somebody's face off. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna rotate? It's already too much tension on it as it is. Can you lift this side of the motor? Uh, the motor's supporting the car right now. I think 
putting it back down and reevaluating it. A less tense, tense stress situation would be yeah, better. Yeah, we're both. I was going to tell the lower, but it's kind of good. Yeah. <laughs> so it could have slid back. Yeah. Well, remember, it rocked forward. Whatever that rock be forward, where it should be. It's not under it. It should be able to come forward. <laughs> On this side. Oh, the pressure's kind of smiling. Hold on. Get it out? Yeah. Okay, because I got to bring everything your way once you get all the way out. Okay. Oh, Can nice. you pull the engine your way? Yep. More? Go up now. Up, 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 up. up. Yeah. You're just holding it off of the ABS? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. stop. You gotta go down just a hair. O2 sensor, I'm just gonna cut it. <coughs> down a hair. O2 sensor wire was pulled. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Up, up, up. Good. Beautiful. A little higher. There you go. Clear. It's great. Yeah, that whole torque that I put on it didn't help either. Yeah. You want a pallet? Didn't even make that much more room in here. <laughs> that engine's tiny. Yeah, it really is. But now this can all be pressure washed. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. 